Here we have the gate, and here we have source, and this is drain. Here we get a reading between drain and source. If we swap the probes, no reading means this is NPE MOSFET. This is PMP MOSFET because we put the red probe in the drain and the black probe in the source and we get a reading. This is the transistor symbol. Okay. We have here Q. The reference of transistor is Q in the schematic. And as you can see, we have emitter, base, and collector. Okay. And here we have this arrow. This arrow determine the type of transistor. Is it PNP or NPN. This is MOSFET, the symbol of the MOSFET. We have Q, the same reference. Okay, so the MOSFET also has two types PNP and NPN. So, in accordance with this arrow, so we have a drain, source, and gate. Okay, drain, source, gate. Okay, so we have the source. So, this is NPN and this is PNP. So, here for this MOSFET, as you can see. This is the source, okay? If we put the red probe in the source and the black probe in the drain and, and we get a reading, means this is NPN, MOSFET. This is transistors. All these are transistors. We have Q. So Q means transistor. You can find also other types of transistors with D, the reference D, as you can see, refer to diode. Okay, because as I told you before, the transistor contains two diodes inside it. Okay, so as you can see here, this transistor we have Q, and for this transistor we have D for edge reference. We go in to test using the multimeter all kind of this transistor. So first of all, you should locate the base collector and the emitter. Okay, as you can see here, we have base emitter and collector. Okay, so as you can see, NPN transistor basically is the transistor that gives you a reading when you put the red probe in the base and the black probe once in collector and once in emitter and you get a reading but for pmp transistor when you put the black probe in the base and the red probe once in collector and once in emitter you will get a reading here we get about 700 for this transistor as you can see here we put the black probe in the base and the red probe once in collector as you can see okay we get a reading as you can see, we get a reading in the multimeter, and once in emitter, we get another reading. Means this transistor is a good transistor. If I swap the probe, as you can see, I should not get a reading. So now I swap the probe, no reading, as you can see. Here also, no reading in the multimeter. Means this is a good transistor, and this is a PNP transistor. So let's check this transistor also. So I put the red probe in the base and the black probe here in the emitter, I get a reading. Now the black probe in the collector, I get a reading. Okay, so this is NPN transistor. You know why? Because I move the black probe from emitter to collector and I get a reading. But the red probe is fixed in the base. So we have another transistor that we go in to check right now, as you can see, using the same working principle always. So we find this kind of transistor in the computer motherboard or in the old laptop motherboards. And of course, you can find it everywhere in electronic boards. Here we have Q, as you can see. So let's look at the base. Here we have the base, as you can see. Here we have the base. Here we have collector. The same pin here also we have collector and here we have emitter. So let's check first this collector. We should get a low resistance, zero ohm in the multimeter, as you can see. Means the same pin. Okay? So let's check right now between base collector and base emitter. So base collector, we get a reading 800 draw voltage, base emitter. 830 draw voltage means this is a good transistor and of course this is pnp transistor because we move 
do positive probe or to read probe of the multimeter from emitter to collector and we get a reading okay so let's check this small MOSFET here as you can see this is a three lead MOSFET so we have here Q Q is the reference for MOSFET here we have gate drain and source gate drain and source okay so let's check between source and drain okay so we get a reading means this is NPA MOSFET because we put the red probe in the source and the black probe in the drain this is NPN MOSFET okay so if we swap the probes no reading okay means this is NPN MOSFET okay we get a reading in the multimeter means this is NPN MOSFET also so these two MOSFETs are NPN MOSFETs if we swap the probes no reading so these two mosfets are npn mosfets this is the drain as you can see the four terminals should be connected together as you can see let's check these three leads this is source also these three leads should be connected together as you can see okay here we have the gate and here we have source and this is drain okay so basically drain here two terminals for drain okay these two terminals are connected so let's check if these terminals are connected or not so we get a low resistance in the multimeter means these terminals are connected together so now let's check between drain and source here we get a reading between drain and source so if we swap the probes no reading means this is NP in MOSFET okay because we get a reading when we put the red probe in the source and the black probe in the drain so let's check this MOSFET so here we have gate drain and source let's check between source and drain no reading let's swap the probes we get a reading means this is NPN MOSFET okay this is NPN MOSFET because we put the red probe in the source and the black probe in the drain